What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So this video is just going to kind of be uh, future events, what's going on with the Jeep, what happened to the Jeep, as you could probably tell from the thumbnail. So went to the Warren Rod and uh, have, was having a good time. Uh, teamed up with Marvin Stamal. Uh, everybody knows Marvin's Fletch Rocks Rollovers. We did Trail 16. Uh, Trail 16 is can be a four hour trip, it can be an eight hour trip. Um, I had uh, been broke way before the event. Uh, Revolution Gear and Axle helped me out a ton, get me an axle so I could make it at least to the Warren Rod. Um, <clears throat> so they they give me an axle, I get the axle put in, and I go out with Marvin on Trail 16. I'm his tail gunner. And we we're going through the trail, we had one rollover. Uh, in our group and we get them flip back over keep going down the trail and there was we get to where the rock calls at and they're all making fun of him up there this is one of their guys he's not bumping it broke a drive shaft so uh, two will drive all the way out so she's still broke uh, I had a spare drive shaft unfortunately the spare drive shaft was for a JK well if you don't know JK rears will not work on a JL uh, at least with a I think it's the axle in that doesn't work um, I think the Dana 44 splines are different. I, I can't 100% remember, but I'm pretty sure it's the Atzalin that doesn't work. Um, so I sold it, and thank you to American 4WD. Um, Matt and his team, they got me a uh, rear Adams drive shaft. Uh, so I've got that, I've got it, it's in, in my hands. Um, I haven't put it on yet, and there's a good reason for that. So I can't really break right now because I have a big event coming up at the end of the month, which is the Southern Four Wheel Drive Ditsy Run. Um, if you don't know what Southern Four Wheel Drive is, their main purpose is conservation, education, recreation. So they're the ones that fight the EPA and these congressional people when they try to put litigation out, uh, hurting a park or trying to close a park or anything along those lines. Um, they're the ones that have the attorneys, excuse me, they're the ones that have the attorneys to fight them. So yes, it does cost a ride at the Ditsy Run, uh, Ditsy Run 38, which is coming up. So it, there is like a day fee uh, or a ride fee, um, but they also do raffles. So you can enter those raffles. All this money that they get from these events goes back into them to help fight the good fight and try to keep all these parks and everything open. So that's going to be September 27th through the 29th at Windrock Park. I will <clears throat> I will be leading rides um, Friday. I'm leading an easy moderate ride. Um, I don't know what trails I'm doing yet. Depending on what my group looks like and depending on how the weather is will depend on what trails I run. If I have a group of people that have wheeled and have rids that can handle it, then we'll ride. We might bump it up a couple notches. Um, if I don't have people that are all capable and can do everything, uh, then we'll stay with the easy mod stuff. Um, Saturday, Saturday is gonna be fun. Saturday is gonna be the mod hard ride. Um, it's gonna get a lot tougher than the first day. Um, probably only gonna be black trails no matter what the weather is. Um, it will probably just the weather will probably just determine which trails I do because I still want people to be able to do it without a huge risk of breaking something um, including myself <clears throat> so we'll, uh, we'll we'll see what the weather is for that but again that's September 27th through the 29th um, yeah come out support a great cause Southern Four Wheel Drive is a 501c uh, they're non-profit, so anything they collect goes back into helping keep parts open, helping open new parts, um, stuff like that. Uh, the next thing is I officially have my own branded store. Um, so I have, 
believe 17 ish items on there um, I have different types of logos shirts with my logo shirts without my logo um, I have one shirt that says just on the front and then bump it on the back I have another one that says um, what does it say uh, give it give and then all the beans on the back <laughs> so uh, go check it out. See if you see if there's anything there you'd really like to have. Um, help support me, support the channel. I thank everybody for watching. If you haven't already, please make sure you go check out my uh, store. It's in the link below. I'll get you something off of there. And uh, yeah, we'll see y'all at Ditsy Run. Thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all later. Bye. <laughs> hey, Zach. I rolled you around. You <laughs> That's JD McGinnis there. <laughs> This is, JD's, <laughs> this is JD's Jeep. Um, I will a 21 Wrangler JL 37s, three and a half inch lift. Um, so Friday we're going to be doing a easy mod ride. So don't even know what trails we're going to be riding. I've been riding Windrock for roughly 15ish years. Uh, so we'll wait and see what the weather does and go from there. Depend on because weather changes everything. Um, and then Saturday, so our Saturday ride, we're going to be running uh, Mod Hard Rod. And don't know what trails we're running then either. Uh, like I said, weather changes everything, so we'll go from there. But, J.D., you want to add anything? Uh, should be a good time. Hopefully nobody breaks out and we get it back home safe. That's what it's all about. Awesome. See y'all.